Hi, this video will show salary processing and reporting using an Excel template for formatting and pivot tables. We will work with this folder structure as visible. We need to provide input files, store log files, and an output folder to store the results. Let us check the input files. It has three files, file 11, 22, and 33, as the input files for salary processing and a template file for the formatting and pivot tables. Let us look at each one of them. File 11 is the list of employees containing employee ID, name, department, city, and country. I wish to mention here that this Excel file has 258,000 records. Check the country filter and there are four countries, France, Germany, UK, and USA, and countrywide city list. File 22 is the employee list with the days present and the leaves. File 33 is the employee list with basic salary and allowances. The template file at the moment is an empty file with four sheets. A country salary sheet to store the country's salary. A country summary sheet for the country's city-wise pivot tables. A city salary sheet to store the city's salary. And a city summary sheet to show the city's pivot table for salary. We will build the file with the formatting for the header rows and pivot tables once we have the data in all the sheets. I have opened Process Studio. I've already created a project salary processing and reports and a workflow salary processing and template based reports. You can right click on the canvas to add new notes. I've added a few notes. The first note reads that the workflow calculates the salary of 258,000 employees based on the three files for employee information, attendance, and allowance. I've also added a few more notes. The focal points of this workflow are to calculate total salary, the country's salary, and the city's salary. So let us begin with the workflow creation. Drag and drop three Excel input steps and configure them to read the three input files. I have configured the first step to read the employee information file 11 and fetch its fields. I have configured the second step to read the attendance information file 22 and fetch its fields. I have configured the third step to read the allowance information file 33 and fetch its fields. Since there are more than two files, drag and drop a multi-way merge join to read the three files. Draw the hops to the merge step. Let us configure the merge step, provide the three input steps, provide the join keys. The join key is MPID, so I will delete the other fields. Click OK. Similarly, the join key for the rest of the files is also MPID. Select the key that is MPID. Provide a join type. We want to include all the rows, so we will provide a full outer join. Click OK. It gives a warning that the input should be sorted. Since our data is already sorted by the input key that is MPID, so I accept this warning message. Next, search for the calculator step. Drag and drop a calculator step. Let us configure the calculator step. In the calculator step, you can provide a new field name to calculate. You can select a calculation type. It gives several out of the box calculations to select from. And the calculation is based on three input fields. We will use the calculator step to perform calculations for net basic salary, net allowances, taxes, and total salary. I have configured the calculator step to calculate net basic salary, net allowances, federal tax, state tax, and total salary. We want to allow a user to provide country name and city name at runtime. We have defined two parameters for country name, where the list of values is Germany, France, USA, and UK, and the city name with several cities in these countries. Drag and drop a get variable step. Click on the get variable button. We have some extra variables, so I'm going to omit these. We need the city name and the country name as the variables. The get variable step converts the variables as fields in the stream with names as mentioned in the name column. We can now filter the records in the total salary by the country name and city name provided by the user. Drag and drop a filter row step. In this step, provide a condition for the country where country is equal to the country name provided by the user. Click OK. Next, drag and drop an Excel writer step. Connect it on the filter true path. Name the step country report to store the country salary information. Provide the output path relative to the current workflow directory and file name appended with the country name. Select the sheet name as country salary. Select the right to existing sheet as the sheet already exists in the template. Provide the template file path relative to the current workflow directory. Provide the template sheet to write on. On the content tab, 
Click the Get Fields button to get the fields from the stream. Also notice that the right header checkbox is unchecked and we will start writing at cell A2 that is on the second row. We will provide the header row and the formatting in the template sheet. Click OK. Drag and drop or block this step until steps finish. Configure the step to watch the country report step and block until all the records are written. Click OK. Next, drag and drop a filter row step. Configure it. Put a condition to filter city based on the city name provided by the user. Click OK. Drag and drop an Excel writer step on the true path of the filter step. Configure the step. Provide the output file path relative to the current workflow directory and file name appended with the city name. It is the same file we used in the earlier Excel writer step. In the if output file exists, select the use the existing file for writing. We will be overwriting on the same file as the country name. In the sheet name, provide city salary. And if sheet exists in the output file, write to the existing sheet. A template is not very relevant here because we are overwriting on the same file as the country report. In the content tab, click the get fields to get the fields from the stream. Notice that we have not selected header and we will start writing at cell A2 because we will pick the first row from the template with the formatted header rows. Click OK. Drag and drop a dummy step and connect it on the false hop from the filter. This completes the workflow. We are now ready to execute the workflow. Let us execute the workflow with the run options. We are executing the workflow for the country France and its city Lyon. Click run. As you can see, the workflow execution has started and it is processing the rows in batches. It has currently blocked the rows on the block step before it goes to write the city. It is the parallel processing that gives the speed to the Excel processing. And also you can see that Excel sheets were not opened. So that also renders the speed. Now writing on the city report, go to the preview tab and see the data. Now let us go to the Excel file and check the data. We began with a blank template with four sheets in it. As expected in the country salary sheet, the workflow has captured information for France for both the cities. It has started writing from the A2 cell as expected. The header row is not printed as we had not checked the header row. Similarly, for the city salary, header row was unchecked and it has started writing from the A to cell and it has printed the information for Leon City. Now we will modify this to create some changes in the template. We will create a header row with format for both the sheets. Additionally, we will create pivot tables for country and for city. So let's do that. I started with header row checkbox unchecked for both the Excel writer steps. Hence, I had to put here the headers as well as formatting of the header row. I have formatted the header row for the city salary sheet as well. And as you can see in the country summary, I have added a pivot table and a chart. So the pivot table shows the total salary by country and breakdown by city. And in the city summary, the user had requested for Leon. So you see the total salary for Leon and also you see the chart. In the country summary, you see the chart with the total salary for each city. Now I can delete data from the sheet and I will use this as the new template. So this new template will have the header rows formatted as well as it will have the pivot table and the chart. After deleting the data, the template file now looks like this. This is the country salary sheet. It has the formatted header row. The country summary sheet does not depict any data. The city salary sheet has the formatted header row and the city summary has the pivot table and chart but at the moment, there is no data. We will use this template to generate a formatted result reports. We will use this template to generate formatted reports as well as pivot tables and charts. Let us check it out. Let us now execute the workflow with the formatted template. This time, let us run it for the country France and the city Paris. The workflow has completed successfully. Let us now check the result file. In the output folder, we can see that the Paris report is generated. Let us open the Excel file. So this is the Excel file with the formatted country salary. It is also depicting the pivot table and the chart for the country. This is the city salary sheet and the city summary for Paris. We managed the template in two steps. Firstly, we created the template with blank sheets. And then after having data, we generated the pivot tables and chart. Uh, we deleted the data and we used the final template to generate our formatted reports.
We saw salary processing, template creation, and reporting. Thank you for watching.